I'm Jeff Cable from GC2 Photo Club and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pixel dispersion or explosion effect. Open a suitable image in Photoshop as I've done here. Then make two extra copies of the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then Ctrl and J again. Then turn off the eye icon on the top layer, that's layer 1 copy. Select the second layer down by clicking on its layer in the layer panel. It will turn blue to indicate it's selected and name this layer background only. To do this, double click on the name, not to the layer, then type in your new name. Make sure that this layer is still selected, it will be blue, then make a selection of the subject using a suitable selection tool. You don't need to be too accurate when making your selection. Now delete the subject by using Content Aware Fill. Click Edit Fill Content Aware and make sure Content Aware is selected in the box. Then click OK. Leave this selection active as we're going to use it again later. Now turn the eye icon back on on the top layer. That's layer 1 copy. Then select this layer and name it Subject. The selection you made earlier should still be active. Copy the selection onto another layer by pressing Ctrl and J. This will delete the background on our new layer. Name this new layer Subject Transformed. And then make a copy of this new layer by pressing Ctrl and J again. Name this new layer Subject Only. With the Subject Transformed layer selected, press Ctrl and T to bring up the free transform controls. Drag out the subject in the direction that you wish the dispersion to take. Then make sure that you click on the little tick or check mark at the top here to commit the transformation. Now turn off the eye icon on the subject layer. That's the third one down. Now select the top layer, subject only and create a layer mask by clicking on the icon at the bottom of the layers panel. That's the third one from the left. It looks like a white rectangle with a black circle in the middle. That's this one here. Select the second layer down, subject transformed, then create another layer mask as you just did before and then reverse it, that turns it black, by pressing Ctrl and I. Select the layer mask on the subject only layer by clicking on the mask itself not the layer, like so. Make sure that the foreground colour is black and the background colour is white. If not, press the D key to reset it and the X key to swap the foreground and background colours over or use the curved arrow icon. That's this one here. Now select your brushes, click on the brush icon in the tools panel or press the B key. If the brush tool isn't visible in the tools panel, right click on the top tool in the brush tool set and select the brush tool. Now click on the little downward facing triangle icon, that's this one here, that is next to the brush size and shape icon at the top left of the screen. Then click on the settings icon at the top right of the dialog box to bring up a drop down menu of brush preset. Select square brushes, that's the third from the bottom. Then select any square brush by clicking on that brush. You can make the brush bigger or smaller by pressing the right and left square bracket keys, like so. Now for the fun part. Click, but don't brush around your subject to create the effect of the pixels disappearing. Vary your brush size as you go. If you make a mistake or are not happy with the result, change the foreground colour to white and paint out the unwanted effects. Now click on the black layer mask on the subject transformed layer Change your foreground colour to white by pressing the X key or by clicking on the little curved arrow. Now click on the areas that you wish to place the dispersed pixels into. Once again click with the brush but do not paint. Vary your brush size as you click again. As before you can paint out mistakes by reversing the foreground and background colours, in this case from white to black. If you wish, you can add a drop shadow or any other effect by clicking on the FX icon at the bottom of the layers panel. That's the second one from the left. That's this one here. 
When you have finished, save your work and you have now completed your pixel dispersion explosion project. That concludes our look at how I use Photoshop to create a pixel dispersion or explosion effect. Hope you found that tutorial useful. Please go to our website gc2photoclub.com for more videos and information. I'm Jeff Cable from GC2 Photo Club. Hope to see you again soon.